All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is something that we should have done when we first made the skeleton, but I was trying to cut some corners, uh, but it will cause some issues. Uh, it'll make things a little bit quicker if we do this now. So one issue that I have, and you may have as well with your leg, is that you'll notice that when I pull this leg up, see how it gets twisted in a weird way, right? Maybe if you look really closely, you just might be able to spot where the issue is. Uh, I know it's hard to see, but believe it or not, the knee is a little bit broken. So uh, in order to fix that, the, the reason why that's happening is because if we select our knee joint, uh, yours might be different. Mine's just messed up. So you might have that issue somewhere else, like on an elbow or something. I would only suggest fixing this where you have to, where it's not working correctly. So for me, this is a spot that's bad. We're also going to have to do this on the hand, but I'm just going to show you on the knee to start with. So if I hit E to rotate, notice that the way the knee is, should be rotating is uh, right here, right? But notice that there's an axis going, well, I can't rotate it this way and that way, but there's no axis running in the right direction. There's nothing running this way, right? They're both off, off canter. So when this pulls it up, it kind of twists it. So what we have to do is actually change this thing's local rotation. It might be easier to see here. Um, what we want to do is have it so that, that um, our Z, our Z axis here, is our main axis. That should be running down it. So what I'm going to do is uh, uh, I'm going to have this one selected. Also hold shift and click on this one just because they both are going to need to be done. And then I'm going to click up here to go into component mode. And then you want to click on this question mark. That'll bring up miscellaneous. And you'll see the, um, the uh, local rotation axes. All right. And all you have to do is you click on them. And then I'm going to hit E for rotate. And I'm just going to rotate it so that it's running. Uh, imagine that the Z is like a pin, like the hinge, right? The pin of a hinge. Um, that's how it's going to know which way to rotate. Okay, so if I rotate like this. And now if I were to rotate on my Z, you can see it would run right with the leg. I'm going to do the same thing here. So I'm going to grab this guy and just go this way. Um, notice the Y is pointing forward and it's backwards on that. That's fine. Just make sure that the Z is indeed running with the leg in the correct, correct direction. Okay. Now I'm going to click back on this to get out of that. Now watch this. If I click on this guy here and I move it up, all right, hey, no more problems, okay? Now you might need to do that other places. Might have a problem in the ankle, some other spots. Um, I just had it there. Now the main reason why, well, it's not the only reason why. I, don't, I think it won't matter here. I think these will just drive them. Um, you shouldn't have any issues other than where you have IK. The problem that I have is that here, uh, we need to animate our fingers. We can do this a couple different ways, um, but typically, if you look at your fingers, they pretty much, the individual phalange here, they pretty much, they can't really, they only bend one way, right? They just, they just curl, and that's it. Um, if I were to look at this, you'll see that, um, okay, so this y-axis I could use, right? So that's not bad, but watch when I go to the next one. Uh, I could rotate on Y, but see it's going this way, or I could rotate on blue, and that's even worse. And then if I go down here, um, this one's blue is okay, but now you can see the Y is to the side. So it's almost like twisting. See how it's kind of like almost twisting? Uh, and they're all like that. The, uh, the axes are all over the place, like they're not consistent. So you can see they're just, they're not in the correct Wait, there's no axis right here for me to rope to curl this in correctly. Now you can grab it manually like this, but we're going to be using some um, connections. And you can see in order to make this rotate, all axes have to rotate. I want to make it so it's just one single axis. So if I just rotate, for instance, on Y here, that will do the curl. But you can see it's not, it's not, that's not terrible, but that's not quite right. So what I want to do is just change the local rotation axes of all of these. Okay, so I'm going to click on the wrist. Um, you can click on the other one too. We're going to do this twice, unfortunately. And then uh, again, I'm going to click on this, the component, and then uh, click on that, although that will already be clicked on. And I'm just going to change the orientation of these, all right? So um, for the thumb here, I want to make sure that I'm going to use Z as my primary axis. So I'm going to go, we'll say, let me see, thumb. If the thumb was curling in, it would be like that. So then this one isn't terrible, but see how the thumb goes across this way? So I want the, this to point up this way, okay? And then I'll select the next one down. And, and the thumb actually wasn't too bad. And go like that. And then we'll go to this finger. 
and you can see the Z is pointing down, I want the Z to go across. So I basically want the Z to be where the Y was. So something like that-ish. Let's see. Okay, so I want the blue to cut across down the center of it, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna grab this one. You can see this is way off, right? So uh, I'm just gonna go all the way around the horn here. And we want it to be something like, like that. Okay. And then we'll go to the next one here and we'll go all the way, eh, come on, like uh, that. Now my fingers are a little bit crooked because I didn't really do them very well. Uh, Cause again, I was just trying to cut corners. We don't have to worry about the tips. The fingertips don't do anything. So we're never rotating those. So that's not a big deal. So it's just the base and then the, uh, the two other ones here. So again, this blue is not in the right spot. So I want blue to be like that so that the blue is going Great. So you're only rotating on the red one, the the, the uh, X axis. So again, we'll rotate this like this. And then I'll grab this one like this. All right. So that all my blues are going across the finger like this. And you can see the axis is, of the blue is going this direction. So same thing here. Rotate this around so that blue is going that way. Um, yours may not be terrible. Mine are pretty bad. Like they're really bad. So if yours aren't terrible, you can probably just work with what they are, but if they aren't, uh, if they are terrible, you're going to have to do what I'm doing. There's other ways of rigging the hand, but believe me, this is actually, uh, doing what we're doing here is going to be easier than rigging it in a different way that we're going to afterwards. So I just want to make sure these are all in a proper direction. So normally I go through the whole skeleton and I do this, um, but for the most part, it shouldn't matter too much. Okay. So those are all good. Uh, so you can see now, uh, see how they're all the Y's are pointing out from the fingers and all the Z's are pointing to the left. They could point to the left or right, doesn't really matter. Notice that the thumb is a little bit different, but again, the Y is pointing out, okay? Don't worry about the fingertip. The Y is pointing out, okay? So that's what we want. So um, just go ahead and do that. I'm gonna do the other hand. So if, if you already know what to do, just go ahead and do it on the other hand. I'm just gonna continue the video so that if you want to do it with me, you can watch and do it with me. Um, otherwise, just go to the next video, all right? Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start doing this one. And I'm just gonna do the same basic process. So I'll go like this, and um, that one's Z, you can see it's going to the left this time, so that's fine, and it was actually not too bad. Grab this one, and it's just gotta go a little bit more, it's not terrible. Grab this one, make sure that's going that way. And I think that looks okay, so. You can see these Z's are all over the place, right? So this one should go like that. And then this one, rotate it around. So it's like, uh, rotate back around, there we go. And then take this one and rotate that all the way around. So hopefully that's okay. And grab this one and rotate that around. This one, if you find the manipulator is too big or small, the plus and the minus key changes the size. So I just did a minus because it was a little bit too big. It was getting in the way of selecting the next one. So, whoop. okay, do it a couple times here. Let's see, that looks fine. Grab this one, like so. Click on, click on this one. Something that's just easier to click off so I can kind of see. Go like that, this one. Rotate, oh, keep going. Like that, I think that's fine. And then we'll do this pinky here. And let's go back just a touch, okay. Grab this one. You do want them, like, besides like having the Z go straight across, they should all go in the same direction. If these all went to the right, that's fine. Or if they all went to the left, but I don't want like this one's like, if I go like this, you can see, the Z is right on there, but see how it's the opposite of these? It'll it'll make them rotate at different, um, like when I rotate this one on a positive degree and rotate this on a positive degree, these both will curl one way and then this one will curl the other way. So they'll, they'll curl opposite, which is kind of what I want to avoid. All right, so I'm gonna call that good. And like I said before, if you need to, you can go through and apply that to other things. Um, I just didn't really concern myself with it. So I'm gonna click on this to get off of that and then click off. Uh, and we're going to call that good as far as fixing the orientation on the hands. And like I said, if you need to fix anything else, just go ahead and do that as well. Uh, and the next one will actually make the hand rig.